Here I am on the NRA Store website, nrastore.com, and uh, taking a look at the NRA Special Ops Inner Waistband Holster. Uh, 25 bucks, $24.95, and shipping I think ran about 5 bucks. I didn't dig up the receipt for it. Got one of these about two and a half months or so ago, and I've been using it to carry my Smith & Wesson MMP Shield 9mm. So this holster allows me to do that. Uh, the only other holsters I have, I have the one that came with my Springfield XD9, the molded outer waistband, OWB. And I did use that for a while. It's a little bulky and it's not the best, uh, you know, option, especially not in, in warm weather. It's almost impossible to hide that thing uh, unless you've got a heavy jacket or something like that on, maybe a you know, big sweater, whatever. Well, the other holster I have is the Phobos uh, paddle holster that I use for the XD. That's also outer waistband and definitely much more compact than the uh, Springfield holster that came with the XD but still outer waistband so it's a little bit hard to conceal. Now this, uh, I haven't tried it with the XD9. I'm 99% sure that this is too small for that and I did get there's two different sizes, uh, the small size and the large size. I got the large size and uh, what I'll do is when I do the second half of this uh, mini non-review review, I will grab the XD and I'll uh, you know test fit it, see how that goes. But I thought what I would do is I would start with this on the website and go from there. So I'm going to click on zoom here. Uh, it does have, if you look at it here, you can see that there's a mag pouch. And I'll show you how I run that with mine uh, in the second half of the video. Um, it's got the MMP shield in it. It is loaded. I just took it off my belt, so this is exactly how I carry it. And uh, so I'll show you a little bit about it. Now, it has this clip on here. The reason that I chose this particular holster is because it's pretty inexpensive. $25 is hard to beat, uh, a few bucks for shipping. Plus, because it's the NRA store, uh, the profit of it goes to the NRA ILA and helps support our, uh, their fight for our freedom, our liberty. Sometimes I have to go to the courthouse. Uh, I'm part of the local election board, and so sometimes I have business at the courthouse. When I go to the courthouse, I'm required by law to surrender any weapons that I'm carrying. I need to be able to surrender the weapon and the holster uh, all as one. Uh, I'm not allowed to withdraw the weapon from the holster. I have to surrender all of it. So I really do need one that's clipped, uh, not one that's uh, threaded through with the belt and held that way. So that limited a little bit what I could uh, choose in order to uh, have a holster. There's no point in me having nine different holsters to suit different uh, situations. I want just basic, basically one or two, maybe three of them, outer waistband, inner waistband. Eventually I'll have a shoulder holster um, as well. But here we go. For now I have this. I'm going to pull this out of here and let's see if I can keep it all on camera when I do it. And you can tell, I hope, it's pretty securely retained. The retention is excellent. So it holds in there really well. Um, I found that the clip holds, it goes back in really easily. The clip holds really well on the belt so that when I withdraw this from the holster on my person, um, the holster doesn't come with it. It seems to remain secure so far and I uh, haven't had any issues. I uh, wasn't sure how I felt about this. It does have a slot here for another magazine and as you can tell I have the extended magazine for the shield uh, there I, I carry the the seven round and then I keep the eight round here so, so I flip it over here and there's the inside of it it's real comfortable I will uh, say I wasn't too crazy about it at first but I also lost about 20 pounds so I'm working on trying to get my weight under control and all it really boiled down to was my pants were a little tight around my waist and when I tried to put an inner waistband holster in it just made it very uncomfortable. The weapon pressed against me, my belt pressed against my gut, you know, the whole bit. So if your pants are a little on the tight side around the waist, uh, probably with any type of inner waistband holster, 
get another size bigger pair of pants or lose a little bit of weight. Um, I can say that that way because I'm I'm trying to do the lose the weight option as opposed to more pants. <laughs> so at any rate, so there it is. Um, what I probably won't do, I don't know yet. I don't know if I'll uh, show this on my person. There's some good pictures on the website, on the NRA website, NRA store, that'll give you an idea of what it sits like and how it rides. Uh, I carry it just behind my right hip. I'm a right-handed person. And what I found is, by the way, I almost forgot to mention this. What I found is, if you look at it, this, in the pictures, they show it on the website. They show the magazine riding this way. Well, if you notice on mine, it's on an angle. So what ends up happening is pretty much, here's my hip bone where my hand is. And this basically does a pretty good job of molding around my hip bone and then behind my uh, hip over my rear pocket, uh, my rear end, <laughs> is where the grip is and then I'm able to withdraw. So, cool thing, I don't know if this will show up on camera or not. See all that dust in there, you can tell there's lint and dust. You can tell I do carry it. Now, one more thing by the way, I do have my XD. Now the XD is not loaded. But let's try this. This is considered the large holster. Ah, that's what I thought. It kind of, oh, it kind of catches. I guess it would work. I don't know. Maybe I'll try carrying that. Um, I do carry it outer waistband, but maybe I'll try carrying it inner and see how it works. Um, that's the first time I tried to fit it in there. It does fit. I have a feeling this is going to dig into me a little bit, to my side, into my ribs. So I probably am not going to want to carry this weapon in this holster. But you never know. So as far as buying it, I'd say go for it. Uh, for, a, for a $30 with the shipping holster supporting the NRA, uh, it's a really, really good little holster. And I'm glad I got it. I think it's a good holster. We'll see what it does long term. You know, maybe after 10, 15 years of it, it won't hold up. I don't know. It seems like it will. Stitching's good. It's all padded well. And uh, again, it's comfortable. So I think it's going to be a good holster long term. So I think you'd be okay if you get it. Thanks for watching, and I appreciate it. Bye.